Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts and in today's video we will be solving another lead code problem. We have an entire playlist on this so do check it out. And today's question is question number 6, 6 or 2, friend requests to who has the most friends. So let's read the question. So this is our table, request accepted, Col these are the column names, requester id, acceptor id, accept date and these are the data types. Requester ID and acceptor ID um, is the primary key combination of columns with unique values for this table. So these are the primary keys. This is the primary key. This table contains the ID of the user who sent the request, the ID of the user who received the request and the date when the request was accepted. So this is our table. So requester ID 1 sent the request and accept and the request was accepted by 2 which means 1 and 2 are friends similarly 1 and 3 are friends 2 and 3 are friends 3 and 4 are friends write a solution to find the to find the people who have the most friends and the most friends number the test cases are generated so that only one person has the most friends the result format format is in the following example so in this case the output is 3 ID number 3 has the most number of friends and the number of friends they have is 3. Why? Because as you can see, uh, 1 has sent a request to 3 and 3 has accepted it. So 1 and 3 are friends, 2 and 3 are friends and 3 and 4 are friends. So 3, ID number 3 has 3 friends and ID number 1 has 2 friends, ID number 2 has 2 friends if you can see. So that way ID number 3 has the most number of friends. So that will be in our output. So let's write our solution. This is the explanation. The person with ID 3 is a friend of people 1, 2 and 4. So he has 3 friends in total which is the most number than any others which is right. So what we need to do is we need to count. Count the number of friends each ID has and then we have to find the max out of it. Pause the video right now and try to write a query for this and then come back to this video and see the solution that I am going to share. So that way you will be able to practice SQL on your own and this will help you in mastering SQL even better. So I am going to start writing my solutions. What I need to do is I need to just count the number of IDs in this table. So, so one has uh, the number of, number of times ID one is in this table is two. The number of times ID 2 is in this table is also 2. The number of times ID 3 is in this table is 3. And the number of times ID 4 is in this table is 1. So the most number of uh, times an ID is in this table is 3 and that is for requester ID 3. So how can I do? I have to count requester ID also. I have to count acceptor ID also and then combine it together. What I'm going to do is I will combine these two tables together because I don't really need the accept date. So the first and for foremost thing that you need to do when you get a question and that you need to solve, you need to find out do you even need all the columns? Do you even need to use all of the columns? A lot of times few columns are just given to confuse you. Like in this case, we just need to count acceptor ID and request ID and find the max out of them. We do not need accept date. So I'm going to discard it. So what I'm going to do is I will just combine requester ID and acceptor ID and then just count. And let me show you. So select requester ID as ID from request accepted. This is the table name and I'm going to give an alias if needed then union all select acceptor underscore id as id when we union two tables in this case it is the same table but when we union two tables the column data type has to be same and i'm giving it the same uh, alias as well from request accepted given alias b 
I'm gonna run it. This is not the final solution. I just want to show you all the output that this is generating. So this is our output. The column name is ID and these are all the uh, all the records in this table in this column. So one, one, two, three, two, three, three, four, and now I just need to take account of each ID and then find the max out of it. And the reason I used union all is union all will not discard duplicates, and we do we need duplicates because we need to count all all the records and as many times as they are in the table. If if I had used union, I I would just have one, two, three, and four, and that would not be of any use so now let's just take account of it you can use subquery but right now um, in the, uh, this case I am using CTE I'm giving a name all IDs as this so this is our CTE our temporary table and now I'm gonna just take account select ID and then I'm going to take count of ID from which table RCT all IDs and then I am going to group it by ID since we are using count we have to group it so I'm going to group it by ID and then I will also order it And this is not the output, but I want to show you all the output that this is generating. So we have ID number 4. The number of times it is in the table is 1. Count of ID 4 is 1. ID 1, count of ID 1 is 2. ID 2, count of ID 2 is 2. ID 3, and the count of ID 3 is 3. So our output should just have 3. So what I'm going to do is, by default, this is ordering it in ascending order. Since we need to have uh, 3 as our output, I will do descending. I will write descending over there and the output would be, output would be 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 1. Now I will just use limit 1. So this way only our first record will be our output I will run it and this is not correct since in our output our expected output this needs to have an alias num so I'm gonna write num let's run it And it has been accepted so this is our solution and I will submit it it has been accepted I hope this video was clear and this helped you in understanding a few concepts this this solution um, had the use of CTs union all then aggregate functions limit so this question had a lot of concepts and I hope this was clear and with that I will end this video. Make sure to check out other Elite Code problems as well. There is an entire playlist with a lot of problems and solutions. Go check it out. Please check out our SQL ebook as well. It has gotten a great response. Go check it out. Check out our other playlist as well. And with that I will end the video. Thank you so much for watching.